Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly play Suburbia, the city building board game. This is the second edition, and Vizier Games was kind enough to send me a copy of this along with the expansions that you see in the upper left hand corner of your screen. We are not going to utilize those today, however. I didn't even get to unwrap them yet, but I wanted to show you what the second edition Suburbia board game looked like. I have covered the first edition, I do believe, and the app. But this is what the second edition looks like, and for those of you that don't know what Suburbia is, again, it's a city-building board game. It supports one to four players. It's for ages 14 and up, and the average play time is roughly 90 minutes. So, I know I've covered Suburbia before on my channel, but again, I'll treat this as if you guys don't know how to play it. And to be honest with you, I always screw up Suburbia for reasons I'll get into in a little bit. So this is not going to be, by any means, a perfect playthrough. Just, let's get that right, right now. Okay, so let's show you the components real quick. This is the box insert. Um, these are the baggies and the extra meeples that we're not using. These are the extra player boards that we're not using. There's a black and yellow one in here. There's red and purple. Um, inside the box, you've also got these plastic covers. There's um, income, money, there we go. So there's like money there and extra tiles from the A, B, and C set, which I'll explain in a little bit, uh, in the box that we're not using and extra goals that we're not using because you only draw so many between all players. But we're gonna be drawing from money here, so I'm gonna keep that off to the side. Here's a quick look at the expansions Again, I have not unwrapped this yet, but it does include um, Suburbia Five Star, Suburbia Nightlife, and two others. So it's like it includes like all of the expansions, which is kind of cool. I'm hoping to cover that pretty soon, hopefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here and get the money all. Set. Actually, not. Let's just do that. Just easier that way. Underneath, the game recommends that you keep your punched out cardboard so that it. Everything fits in the box nicely. We'll see how that goes. I typically don't follow the advice and do whatever I want anyway. All right, so here's a look at the board. Um, it's kind of hard to see everything. On the very top of the screen here is a population tracker that serves as your victory points. We each start at two. I am the red meeple and she is the purple meeple. There are red notches on this track and as we cross them, our income and reputation tracker will go down by one each time, and I'll explain why that's important a little bit later. You've got an A stack, a B stack, and a C stack, and the number of tiles that you use for these stacks will depend on the number of players. I've already set everything up, uh, so we don't have to do any of that. Somewhere in the C stack toward the bottom is a one more round tile, and that will signal the end of the game. Uh, you're going to take six of the tiles from the A stack and, well, one, two, seven, seven, I can count, seven, I'm an accountant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. You're going to take seven and deal them out from the A stack here. There are numbers above each column to indicate the additional cost of purchasing a tile. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at a tile so you can see what it all entails. Um, if we zoom in on that, okay. So on the left hand side here is how expensive the tile is to buy. And again, that'll be plus typically whatever the number is up here. This is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, and 0. So tiles will get cheaper as they go from left to right on that little grid there. On the upper right hand corner is like an immediate effect of placing the tile. Any circle that you see affects income. And any square that you see, which is on another tile somewhere, um, will affect reputation on your tracker here. This, these are You're going to be earning income and reputation at the end of your turns, and you're going to be tracking how much you earn or lose depending on where they are on these individual tracks. But circles represent income, squares represent reputation, and reputation is converted into population, which you'll see. On the very bottom here is uh, other things that will take into consideration whenever you place these. Is, let's say plus one income for every suitcase icon. So um, this will, if you have this tile in your in your array, um, you're going to want to observe that on a regular basis. And sometimes that will include your opponent's board as well. Airports, for example, will chain off of each other. And this is the nightmare of suburbia. Trying to track mm -hmm. what everyone has and how much you really are supposed to be getting. And as I've indicated earlier, 
I've never played Suburbia without messing up somewhere. Just because I have a hard time. I get sensory overload. And in and, and second edition Suburbia here, there's no tracker. Um, I think in the premium editions, like the Kickstarter premium edition, there were ways, there were markers that helped you track things. Suburbia second edition does not come with that. I have not opened the expansion box to know if that happens to have any, but the core game here does not have any way to track that. So we're going to mess up. Just accept it. <laughs> um, we each start with 15 bucks. Uh, we also start with two of these goals. Um, these are private goals. We're going to choose one, discard one, keep the other one. You also start the game with two public goals. Well, again, it depends on the number of players. Um, and that one there says fewest residential zones, residential being green. So whoever has the fewest residential zones at the end of the game will get 20 points. And that's indicated right here. Fewest green is 20 points. That's the capitalist goal there. Uh, this one is most money. Whoever has the most money at the end of the game will get 10 points. And again, players are going to get two of these goals to uh, look through and then keep one and discard the other one. On a player's turn, what they're going to do, they're going to first um, take a tile in one of four ways. Well, do one of four things, I should say. One thing they can do is purchase a tile from this community row. They're going to pay the cost on the left plus whatever the amount is above it. So these two are free over here. At least it says zero and zero. So if you, someone were to pay for this, it would only be $4. $4 plus the zero is $4. Then they would place that in their array adjacent to an existing tile. Uh, this one has a plus four above it. This would be $5 for this plus four is nine. So they would spend $9 to buy that tile. Once they're done placing their tile, they're gonna shift the row to the right and a new one is gonna come up from either the A, B, or C stack. It goes from A to B to C is the progression of the game. Um, there's a number of steps that you take to earn income and money. Um, that's all listed here on the back of your guide. We have two guide cards out, one of each color. I mean, we could flip them if we really wanted to, but it's just easier just to look at both at the same time. So this is the yellow guide card that the third player would um, theoretically have, and this is my actual one. But they're the same. It's just different colors to represent the different player uh, colors. So, yeah, there's a whole slew of things that you do once you place the tile, and we'll be following that. Um, the second thing that you can do on your turn is take a basic tile from up here. There are three basic tiles, one yellow for industrial, one, uh, there's a green stack there for residential. There's a gray stack for civic buildings, and again, they're all the same. Um, so gray stack tiles all do the same thing, green stack tiles all do the same thing. When you pay the cost of that, just, just the tile, nothing, there's no number extra cost associated with it. But once you pay that, you're going to choose a tile from here to discard. You're gonna pay the cost of whatever is above it. Whatever one you choose to discard, you have to pay the cost above it. So if you take the gray tile and then choose to discard this one, you'd pay $6 because um, that says six. If you take a gray tile, pay its cost, and then discard that one from the row, that'll cost you nothing because that's zero. So there are times where you'll be only observing the top row cost there and times when, when you're discarding something typically. Um, and the other things that you can do, the third thing, is um, you can turn a tile into a lake in order to earn money. So let's say I take this one. You're going to pay the cost on the very top. And, oh, not the tile itself, but only the cost on the top. And flip it over and it's two dollars for each adjacent yellow, uh, gray, green, or blue tile. So when you put this into your city, you're going to earn money. That's typically how players get an influx of money should they go bankrupt, you know, right away, whatever. But net effect is cumulative. So if this lake were here and I earn my money, on a future turn by adding tiles around it, I still earn money. Um, but if you want to turn a tile out here, say this one, into a lake, you still have to pay the $10 up here in order to do that. There are reasons why you might want to, to prevent your opponent from getting it, for example. The last thing you can do on your turn, um, 
is use one of these investment things. There's each player gets two, three of these two X markers. You can put a two X marker onto a tile to double the effect of that tile. So if you put it onto a lake, for example, it'll earn you $4 for every adjacent tile as opposed to two. Um, or you would just double the effect down, if it's just like a green tile or gray tile, whatever, you're going to double the effect on the bottom here. So these will help you in certain situations. If one tile is really, really valuable, you can use a 2x tile. Whenever you use the 2x tile, you're also going to, again, discard something from that row to keep the game flowing. That way you're not stalling the game out. Every time you do something, something here is going to either get discarded or used in some way. Players will take turns doing one of those four things. Then our players will take do one of those four things. They will adjust their income and reputation on this track appropriately. They're gonna add a new tile here. And then the next player goes rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat until the one more um, round tile comes up in the C deck. So it's not a terribly complicated game to learn. Again, my only problem with it is just keeping track of uh, what you should be earning and uh, as such I don't think there's going to be a winner in this game <laughs> so so we'll just you know we'll, my goal today is just to show off the second edition you know what I mean and hope that you guys enjoy enjoy what you're looking at so uh, there is a rule book the rule book is eight pages long um, fairly big pages though. there is a solo game one and two one involves Dale the bot and the other one is the lone architect so you can play solo if you want to um, and then there is a separate guide for the different goals and all the different tiles that are in the game. There's like a rules explanation for each one. So, all right, I think, I think we're good. This is the first player marker. Um, would you like to go first? Uh, sure, but I do have a question. Sure. What is the main difference between the first edition and the second edition? Not a whole lot. Really? Yeah. I mean, the rules are the same. It's just, I have this, I have the first edition somewhere in the closet. I'd have to pull that out somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. And um, show the differences. But they are roughly the same. Wow. Okay. It's just, this looks different, visually, mm -hmm. artistically. And the other one had a tracker of sorts. Uh, there was no tracker on that one either. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that did, that was a complaint I had with the first edition as well. Mm -hmm. The fact that I was always messing things up. Okay. Same thing here. So not a whole lot has changed, except for the art style, really. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, so first, let's choose a goal. So we've got two of these public goal or private goals in front of us. So I'll show you guys what I have, and I'm going to choose one. Um, I'm going to go with this one here, keep it, and the other one is going to get discarded. Let's put this in the box over here. All right. Don't look at it. I will not look at it. It's <laughs> private. I would not dream of it. Everything's okay. hidden information. I need like a little... Wrong. <laughs> As I said, some things that you do will affect me. That's true. Yeah. All right. So uh, what would you like to do? Again, you do one of four things. You can buy from here. Put it here. You can buy from here. Put it here. You also have to discard something in the process. Yep. You can turn one of these into a lake. Yep. Or you can use an investment marker, which typically isn't ideal for the first turn. What was the investment marker? One more time. That will double the effect of whatever you put this on. You also have to pay the cost of the tile again. Oh, I see. So if I put this on this tile, it'd be four dollars extra. I'd have to pay it again, yeah. but it doubles the effect of whatever the bottom here is. Yeah. Okay. All right. So can I see those first two? I'm just curious. What, what first two? What? The first two tiles. Okay. This is a business supply store. And that is the fancy restaurant. Plus one for every, what is that, business, office? Yeah, this says um, <clears throat> business supply store. Uh, it's $8. You get one income up on your track, upper right-hand corner. You get added to one income. And then on the bottom it says plus one income for every uh, suitcase icon uh, anywhere. Mine or yours. Mm. So um, you'd potentially grow, you know, over time using this, but. Mm. Um, and that one. That one was on the 10. Was it? Yeah. This one is the restaurant one. Fancy restaurant. You get plus three income right away, but minus one income for every, uh, like, that's a fork and knife icon built after this one. So it's good immediately, 
But if we keep building restaurants, then you're going to keep losing income over time. Yeah. So it's a risk. It's a big influx of income. Man, this is tough. Too many choices. That's why it's a 90-minute game. But the way you play, it's going to take three hours. Oh, my God. No, I'll be quick. I'm, <laughs> quick. I'm sorry. I would say that in jest. Oh, man. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, okay, I guess I will take... I like this one, honestly. I might take this one for 15. Oh, that's all my money, huh? That would be all your money. <laughs> and how do you get money again? Uh, you build lakes. That's the only way? Well, you can get money other ways, too. Um, you're going to earn income every turn as well, based off of, you know, your current... Based yeah. off of this stuff? Right, exactly. So... That's... Now, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are these one-time uses, these chain thingies? No. Nope. Um, so this is the mint. You're going to earn plus three income whenever you place this. And then two dollars for each of your civic buildings, which is the little gray icon over here. Okay. So every time a, every, it says your, so every time you place down more gray tiles, you're going to get this two dollars every single time. So it's not like an immediate effect, like this is immediate up here. This is a constant effect on the bottom. A constant effect so after every turn yes every turn this is gonna come into play so you're gonna get two dollars every time if you play this you're gonna get plus three income mm -hmm. and you're gonna get two dollars for every um, for each of your um, Cathedrals. Roman no it's buildings. a civic civic building <laughs> Rome buildings. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good one it's not bad it's not it's bad. expensive though that's it is all. very expensive that's the only downside. It's it's pretty expensive. Yeah, it is. That's rough. It it also includes that tile, so you would earn four dollars. Wait, what do you mean four dollars? Because this is a civic tile too, the community park. It's gray. Yeah. So by placing this somewhere, yeah, you would earn plus three income. Yeah. on your track. The bottom effect is two dollars for each of your yeah. civic buildings, including that's, that one. That's two and two. Yeah, so four dollars. You would oh, earn okay. you would earn four dollars in coins I see. immediately from that. And then ever after that, if you add another gray one, that's another two dollars. Another gray one is another two dollars. It's cumulative. Yeah. I thought you were talking about this four dollars no. right there. Mm -hmm. You know what? Whatever you want to do. Oh, man. The green one for the folks at home are typically that's residential. That's typically like victory points. Um, anytime you see a meeple, that is um, population, and that we move up there. Every time, I forgot to mention this, every time we pass a red notch on this tracker up here, we have to lower our income and reputation by one to sort of simulate a growing economy kind of thing. Expenses for having a larger city, whatever. Yeah. So what did you decide on? I don't know. I might just... Oh, that's $18, isn't it? $10 plus the 8 is 10 oh. You can't even afford it. No. You cannot afford this or this or this. You can afford that, 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 or that. So the first four tiles you can afford. Plus one. That's or one. you can buy a basic one. I could. You know what? Oh, let's go high roller. All right, so you're going to put the mint down. Let's do this one. All right, so you pay the cost of it. It's 15 plus zero is 15. Or do I want this one? Oh, dear gosh. <laughs> I'll go with this one. I'm All right. So $4. $4. All right. So one, two, three, four. That's this awful. is going to be a long... No, 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 no. It won't. That was it. All right. So now let's go through step by step what we have to do. Okay. You pay the cost of the tile shown, yeah, which we did. Which you did. Um, adjust according to the immediate effect in the upper right-hand corner of the tile. Six meeples. Six meeples. So you go up six victory points. So you're on eight. You have not passed any red notches yet, so there's no adjusting here. Next is adjust according to the bottom. There's no bottom there. Adjust according to the conditional effect on adjacent tiles. What does this say? Plus one for each adjacent home. Plus one reputation for each adjacent green. So because you've got another adjacent green, mm -hmm. this goes up by one. Now, folks, I forgot to mention the reason why we start at zero income and one reputation and two 
population. It's because of how this looks. There's a negative one income, a positive one income, that brings us at zero, starts us at zero. Um, this says plus two population, which is why we start with two population here. And um, there's a one reputation here because it says plus one reputation for each adjacent yellow, green, or blue. And we've got a green and a yellow here, but this heavy factory is also minus one for each adjacent civic or green, and this is civic. So we got plus two reputation here, minus one reputation here, brings us to one reputation on this tracker. That's why we start the game at zero income, one reputation, and two population, because of the way our grid is currently set up. But, okay, so getting back to this, you get um, an extra one reputation. Now I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does this plus one, now that it's triggered, does it also affect this one up here? Not again. Okay. Again, it's, it's, it's a constant effect. So think of it this way. The way your board is situated now is how much you should have here. Okay. You know what I mean? Kind of, yeah. So it, if you look at the snap, you should be able to look at a player suburbia board and, and go, look at their I have, I should have this okay. because of the way my board is. I see. In theory. Okay. <laughs> um, if it doesn't affect the other person. You have to look at the other players too <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So next we check with other players to see if any of their tiles will cause you to make adjustments, which no. And lastly, check with other players, see if their burrows are impacted. So none of that happened. Okay, so we've done that. Now we collect or pay money based on income. You have zero income right now, oh, so you don't earn any money. Which <laughs> I'm playing Tiddlywinks. <laughs> Tiddlywinks, that's an old kid's game I used to have. Um, adjust population based on your reputation. You have two reputations, so you go up two on this track to 10. No, you're not, you didn't cross any red yet. You're still safe. I think you're telling me that you want to roll dice. No, wrong. <laughs> Add a new tile to the real estate market. So these slide over. <laughs> like so. Kay. And then a new one comes up from the A track. Interesting. Yep. And now it is my turn. So. Oh, they're all flipped. Okay, that's what it. Okay, I get it. Okay. So I think I will take the mint. Dig it! Question is, where am I putting it? Because if I I can't put it around the heavy factory because that'll be minus one reputation. Um, because heavy factory says minus one reputation for each adjacent civic or green. So I will do this here, and I get I have to pay fifteen bucks. That's all my money basically. Yeah. No. I have a question. What does reputation do exactly? Reputation determines how much you earn per turn, which... Oh, so reputation is just victory points per turn? Yes. You're, this is how many... Reputation is how many victory points you get per turn, basically. Interesting. Population is rep, is victory points. All right. Okay. I see. And again, income is how much money you earn. Okay. So uh, step one, I paid for the cost. Mm -hmm. It was free plus the 15. Um, adjust according to the immediate effect in the upper right. I got plus three income, so I'm up to three. Adjust according to the bottom. Two dollars for each of your civic. Two, four. So I get four dollars from the bank. One, two, three, four. Right. Um, adjust according to the conditional effect of any adjacent tiles. Um, no adjacent tiles affect it, so moving on. Does it affect you or me? No, um, so I think I think we're done there. So now we move on to earning income. I have three, so I'm gonna earn three dollars. One, two, three. Do I have any reputation to earn? I do not. Oh no, I have one. So I earn one. I'm up to three victory points there, population. Uh, and then we add a new tile to the real estate market. So these all move down. And a new one comes out. How did you get seven coins? Um, partially because of this mint. It's two dollars per each civic. Two dollars, four dollars. Yeah. I have three income. Oh. At the end of my turn, I earn th whatever my income says. Seven. So I'm up to seven. I should have done that then. Okay, job, you know. Again, 
this is a tough this is one of those this is hard it's yeah. easy to learn difficult to master mm -hmm. okay and i have no I am, i'm nowhere near mastering it mm -hmm. for the record all right what are those two over there the ones that just came out yeah the, the this is an office building it's nine dollars plus ten is nineteen plus you get plus one income immediately mm -hmm. plus one income for each adjacent blue building okay. which you have not. i can't even it. Municipal airport, six dollars plus eight is fourteen. Okay. Um, plus one income for every airport, minus one reputation for each adjacent green. This is a business you've seen business supply store, fancy restaurant, another mint. Um, you have eleven dollars. You can four dollars for what? For this one. Okay, what does that do? This is minus one for each adjacent. Hold on, wait a second. Well, <laughs> let me see. This about. is a landfill. Let's go ahead and take a look at the landfill. All right, so that says um, you get an immediate income of two, and then minus one for each adjacent yellow civic. So any is that all the tiles? Yes. Oh. So if you put that anywhere on your city, you're going to lose reputation. This will go down. Yeah. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is going to get you two income, and it's cheap. Yeah. If you if you want to focus on money, which I recommend doing, I might actually have to bite the, the bullet. Typically, you want to raise your income as soon as possible. Yeah. And only put it that has next to be adjacent. Right? Yes, it can't be all the correct. Way there. So you'd want to put it like down here, away from everything, yeah. or maybe out here and just don't build over here anymore. You know what I mean? Like put it somewhere where you're not going to build toward. Like if you want to put it over here or down there, but you have to make sure you're not building down there. That's no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For a minute, I'm like, do I really have to explain this again? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was funny, though. Yeah, actually, I might... Um, man. I'd love to put it here. Are you serious? <laughs> just for this one alone. But I won't. I'll just it's up it to you. I'm not going to tell you to build your city. It's your city. city. If you want to put a landfill in the Burn. middle of your city, Burn. if you want to build the shrine of a landfill in the middle of your city, you do that. Um, okay, so... Plus two income. Well, first, let's do one step at a time. Four dollars. So you oh, paid yeah. your four, right? Yeah. Did you... Did you I didn't get five? any change back. Right. One dollar. Okay. Adjust according to the immediate effect on the top. So that's uh, two, two, two income. income. Yeah. Adjust according to the bottom. <laughs> minus, one. minus one reputation for each adjacent anything, yes. really. So you're down to one. Um, adjust according to anything surrounding. No. That has no effect. Um, adjust according to how it affects me. Um, no. I don't think anything like that. Okay, so these all move down. <laughs> and my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh for, I'm sorry. Income, okay, you get income and stuff. Um, you get uh, income, which is two, two dollars. Ooh. And reputation, you get one, you're up to 11. Nice. And you already added a new tile. Okay, so now we move on to my turn. Mm -hmm. I like that mint, but I don't have money. So um, I've got seven dollars, right? Mm -hmm. What can I afford for seven? The slaughterhouse, I lose two reputation. I'd be in the negative. <laughs> Plus one for every restaurant, or for every knife and fork icon. I don't have any of those. Do you? No. I don't think you do. So that's kind of a waste. Um, I like that mint. I really do. Um, you can't afford it? I can't afford anything, really. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to take a lake at this point, I think. Um... So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this and pay the cost on the top of zero, flip it over, and put it uh, here. And this says $2 for each adjacent yellow, gray, green, or blue. I've got that. So I paid the cost, which is zero, the cost being the cost up here. Not the cost of the tile that does not come into play. This is zero, in fact. Um... So adjust according to the media effect uh, on the bottom. So that would be two dollars. So I get six dollars there. Okay. And does that affect? Does that affect you? 
Does that affect anything around it? No? Okay, so I think that's it. So all these move down. Okay. A mob mobile home community. Six uh, victory points there. I'm gonna spend all my money and get this one. Okay, what is that one? A fancy restaurant. Fancy restaurant. Fancy. Okay. So that's what, nine dollars? Yeah. Nine bucks. Okay. Did I earn, when I put that down, did I earn my, my reputation and money? I don't think I did. I don't think so. So I earned three, from that last turn, I should have earned three dollars. I keep forgetting that. One, two, three, and one reputation, which is one point. Okay. This one is three income. Okay. So you adjusted the immediate effect. Yep. Next is the effect on the bottom. That's plus one. Oh, hold on. For this one? No, the immediate effect on the bottom is minus one for each. I don't have a restaurant. Okay, you don't? Okay, that's fine. And then that is anything surrounding, plus which you did. One. So yep. plus one, you got that, good. Um, adjust according to the conditional effect of any adjacent tiles, which you already did. Mm -hmm. um, check with other players. I don't have any no. silverware icon, and I think we're good. Okay, so now you earn income and stuff, oh, so yeah, you get right. five money and two reputation. You're up to, to 13. Okay. Getting close to a notch. Yeah. Okay. That one goes down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Parking lot. Okay. How much money do I have? One, two, three. Okay, it's ten. I could afford another mint, actually. I kind of like that. Um. Yeah. I might grab another mint. Okay. Um. I'm gonna have to put that like over here, though. Okay, so 15 bucks mm -hmm. is everything I have except for one. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I get income and stuff though. All right, so immediate effect in the upper right is plus three income. Bottom is $2 for each. Now, again, let's just look at this one first. $2 for each civic building. One, two, three, that's $6. So I get six. Now, check surrounding tiles. Um, adjacent. This adjacent tile is $2 for each of your, now I already earned, this one already earned me four from this one, but it earns me now for this one. So I get an additional two. Do you see how that works? Yeah. Okay. And let's see, any non-adjacent, which, okay, fine. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, um, did I earn for the, the lake? Adjacent tiles. I, earn, I should earn two more dollars for the lake because I'm next to it. And did that affect you in any way? Mm -hmm. No, okay. So I think we're good there. Now I get income, $6 plus one victory point, I'm up to five. All right, and we already did this, so it is now your turn. I don't want it to be my turn. <laughs> that bad. Oh, okay. I have five dollars to my name, so I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do this. Um, is that one of the basic tiles? Yeah. You can show the camera which one you're picking. I don't know which one. Hold on. Okay. Again, typically I would go income or something. Yeah, no. That's just me. I know. Just look at the bottom tiles. Uh, more income means more choices, typically. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. I'll probably go here then. Okay, so that, was that a heavy factory? Okay, so the heavy factory, um, how much did you pay for that? $3? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get two and change, right? Yeah. All right, now you have to pick one of these to discard. 
If you pick anything other than the first two, you have to I pay an additional. Right. I can't even. I have to. Pay you could pay for this one, but it's kind of silly. Yeah. So you get rid of one of these two. One's an airport, and one's municipal airport and business supply store. I don't freaking know. <laughs> I I understand. Maybe, what's yours? Jeez. I've just got, I'm just mints everywhere. That's good though. I guess this one. The municipal airport, okay. So that just gets discarded. Just put that off to the side somewhere. Off this, okay. <laughs> No. Where's the discard pile? It's over here. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So now um, you pay the cost. You already did, right? Mm -hmm. Adjust according to the immediate effect. So plus one income. Yeah. Did I get the three dollars, or is that something I? Have that's to the cost. That's what you paid. Oh, I see. Okay. That's did you fine. pay the three dollars? Yeah. You gave me two. Okay. In return. Yep. Um, I think. Adjust according to the conditional effect at the bottom. So does this affect you at all? The bottom no. there? No, because you didn't put it. Minus one reputation for each adjacent gray and green. These are yellow and blue, so you're fine. Adjust according to any adjacent tile effects. Do these affect it? No. Um, affect to non-adjacent tiles. Are there any non-adjacent tiles that would affect it? No. No. Um, does my thing affect you? No. Okay, so I think you're good there. You earn six money. And two reputation, so you're up to what? 15. Uh, 15. Okay. And then we move these down? Yep. Look, babe, I'm rolling. You are rolling. Okay. <laughs> Convenience store and farm, interesting. Okay. Um, what am I going to want? I just have to ignore all those and just, like, focus on these free ones, don't I? Well... That depends on what you really want. Um, 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 that farm is cool because that will earn me an income. Well, it's a minus one reputation, though. This earns me one income for every silverware icon. You've got a silverware icon, right? Or maybe you don't. No, you don't. I'm looking at this one. Hmm? Nothing. I'm talking to myself. Parking lot is plus one for each adjacent gray and blue. Oh, that's interesting. So $18, 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ah, oh, man, almost had it. This one is plus one for each adjacent blue. I don't have any blue. This is plus one for each adjacent suitcase. I don't think I have that either. No. Uh, basic ones. Um, suburbs, community park, or heavy factory. I might do another heavy factory. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay $3 for every factory. Put it here. And, okay, so $3, one, two, three. Alright, I paid the cost. I have to get rid of something. I'm going to get rid of the office building. Now we're on the B stack, mm -hmm. shipping center. And now um, I do the top right, which is the income. Bottom, minus one for each adjacent gray and green, none of that. Adjacent tile stuff um, does not affect. This gets me $2 for each adjacent tile. That should affect that, so I get $2 from the park, or, or from the lake, rather. Um, next, global. None. Uh, does that affect you? No. Okay, income. $7 from income. And I get one reputation. So I'm up to six. I'm not doing too well on victory points. Okay, so it is now uh, your turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, 
I have to try and catch up victory point wise, I think. It's tough. All right, so five and six, mm -hmm. four, this one. Okay. And I'll put it. Another thing to keep in mind are these public goals. Yeah. Okay. I know. I've got one green and you now have three. I have three, I know. I know. Okay, I'm just letting you know. know. <laughs> I'll do it here. Wait. If you put it there, that would give you what? Minus one reputation for a green being next to it? Yeah. You could put it up here. I could. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Okay. So you paid the cost, right? Uh, adjust according to the immediate effect, you get six victory points. Mm -hmm. So that brings you to 21. You cross the red line, so you're down to one reputation and five income. Yep. Um, next is adjust according to the bottom of the tile, which there isn't any. Nope. Um, next is adjust according to adjacent tiles. Plus one reputation mm -hmm. for each adjacent green, yellow, blue, whatever. So that brings you back up to two again. Yeah, and it doesn't affect these, right? It doesn't affect these. From a previous turn, it would have. It would have, it would have kicked in on a previous turn. Okay, okay. This, this was already accounted for at the beginning okay. of the game. Okay. This... That's yeah, I keep I keep getting mixed up. Again, if it, it, to deter, basically this is a snapshot of this. I know, I know it is. I'm just so once you take that bottom stuff. bonus once, that's it. That's it. Okay. Until new stuff comes on the board to change it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So does that affect anything else? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So now you get income of five dollars. Yep. And a reputation of two. That brings you to 23, but you cross another red line, so you're back down to uh, one and four. There were two red notches there? You crossed, you went from 15 to 23 in one go. You had six, remember? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That was one, and you had two reputation. Yeah, and so I, I the, went down to one. Right. You had three before. You had, did, were you not following? I did follow. Okay. I, I, I thought that I only had. Two you crossed before. two red lines. Okay. So you went up and down repeatedly this round. Okay. But don't worry, this is the last time you're going down for this round. Okay. You went up because of this. Yeah. But you went back down twice. You went up once and down twice. You were you were here on two at the beginning of your turn. You went okay. up once okay. and then you went down twice. Okay. You went down twice because of these red notches. Okay. But you went up once because of that. Okay. I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need a calculator. <laughs> I understand. All right, so you did all that gobbledygook. <laughs> these slide down. I knew I should have went here. That would have hurt you even more. How? Putting the green here yeah. penalizes you minus one reputation. You would have been down to zero this turn rather than one. Oh, so if you go back and forth on the red notches, I thought it would just cancel each other out. This is a plus one and this is a minus one. Right, but now you, you would have been down to zero had you done that. Okay. The, okay, again, at the end of your turn, you had plus one reputation minus two red notches. Mm -hmm. Right? That's, a, that's, an income, that's a, it's a loss of one reputation. Minus two plus one okay. is minus one. So you went down one. Putting this here instead would have earned you an additional minus one, bringing okay. you down to zero. All right. You would have been here rather... <sighs> I know. There's a, it's why I said this All right, is... it's your turn. It's your turn. All right. Just get it over with. <laughs> wow. Just get it over with. Put that on the box. <laughs> just get it over with. Suburbia. Just hurry up and destroy your city. Yeah. <laughs> Can I summon Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be a thing. <laughs> Where's the Godzilla tile? <laughs> Mothra tile. Uh, parking lot plus one for each adjacent. I like that. It's 14 bucks and I could put that here. Okay, so I am going to take the parking lot. Um, it's 14, so I'll just do that. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> so I'm going to put that here. Okay. This is like playing with the easy AI, isn't it? No. Not at all. You're winning. No. You've got more points you than I do. You are going to be the cut. Babe, I'm going to stay there and you're going to be all the way up here. No. Watch. All right. So immediate effect is plus one. Mm-hmm. Bottom is plus one for each adjacent gray or blue. I've got two gray, so that's plus two more. So I'm up to plus ten income. Um, next are surrounding tiles, and that does not affect that. Um, does this affect anything else here? No. Does this blue somehow affect you? It has a office icon. I don't think it does. What does it say? Um, nothing. I'm just. I didn't know if you had any any effect that would be affected by a blue oh. office icon. I have a blue office. Yeah, it's fine. But you don't have an effect at the bottom, like red. It just says minus one income for every every um, silverware. Yeah. Right. But you, I yeah. But you don't have anything that would affect be affected by that. Okay. So I think that's it for that. Now I earn income. I get ten money, which I'll take one of those. And I get one reputation, I'm up to seven. I need, I need to get more victory points at this point. Can I see that card real quick? This one? Oh, yeah. Let me see it real quick. Um, I'd like to, if I can get it out. There we go. Um, and while I'm doing but that... that's adjacent. That doesn't affect me at all. I know, but it could still, again, another tile might say... Oh, oh, if you had a restaurant. Right. Let's, okay, yeah. Let's... I see, I see, I see. If Look, shipping center, plus two dollars for every office. Yeah. So had had you had this in your city, this would have affected you. No. You would have gotten two dollars. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would have. It's adjacent. It says adjacent. That is only for this effect. Plus one for each adjacent this, right? That's yeah. only for this. Yeah. This shipping center says two dollars for every office. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If this were in your city, yeah, okay. you would get two dollars because I put that there. Okay, yeah. That's I what I was asking. Like, does that does that get affected? By oh, okay. Sorry. I, I, it's confusing. I know. <gasps> All right. So I got my income. I got my one reputation. Um, these slide down. Guys, he's a trooper. <laughs> he really is. No. This is why he's the board game pro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This is why I fail at suburbia every time I play against no. the computer. All right. So go ahead and um, take your turn. Oh, jeez. Um, I can't do anything. <laughs> yes, you can. I can't do anything. You've got seven bucks. You can take a basic tile. Um, this is to. this is six if you want another green one, but you know. That's, that's another victory point. You're going those. You're going heavy on those victory oh, points. Oh god, I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get this one again. Another heavy factory. Okay. Ugh. I'll put it here. All right. So how much was that? Three dollars. Yeah. All right. So. I don't like these heavy factories. I feel like they're hurting me more than doing. I don't know. Well, let's see what you get. Top part is what? One income? Yeah. All right. Bottom um, is what? Minus one reputation for every... Every civic or house. Right, which is non-existent. Yeah. Um, doesn't affect me or you in any other way that I can see. So now you earn income and reputation. You get uh, five bucks. And you earn one reputation. You're up to 24. Oof. And now you already did that, right? Oh, I have to discard something, don't I? Right, you have to discard something. Oh, my lord. Preferably one to the front, too, because you have, I know. your money is limited. But if there's something that you don't want me getting, there may be a strategy to I it. I know, another friggin' mint. <laughs> That's a or stadium. A stadium. Plus two for each adjacent green. <laughs> That's something I don't want you to have at all. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah. That's $26, though, right now. 16 plus 10. Jeez, dude. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't want you having this one. Why? <laughs> because if you built it, it wouldn't affect me in any way. It w I wouldn't go for that. 
Because you, it says plus one for each. The silverware. Yeah, but there, there are no buildings anywhere in our cities that have. I have it. You don't. This one. You have an effect. But isn't this the silverware card? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. So I would, if I put that in my city, I would get plus one. Income. And you would get my, well, yeah, I would get plus one income. But it's still minus reputation at the top, which I really don't want. Mm. The what it's up to you. you get? I don't know. If I discard something, I just have to pay the top, or do yes. I have to pay the... the top? Just the top. Ugh. So, three, three, two, four, six, eight, ten. Actually, okay, fine. Which one's this one? Wow, eight dollars, really? Okay. Minus one for every. What is that? A skyscraper? Yeah, it's like that other one, the fancy restaurant. Only it's. Wow. It's you get immediate income now plus three income, but minus one for each additional skyscraper after that. Um. I guess it wouldn't really matter, honestly. Because if I got rid of. Okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Maybe I'm serious. Get rid of this one. Okay. No. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one. She has so many. That's, that's two. That's two dollars now. Blues. Okay, two dollars, right? That would be. I'll pay two dollars. Alright. Get rid of the farm. Again, which said, plus one income for every silverware icon anywhere. Crap. And that includes hers. Wait, wait, hold on. That's $16. Damn, that's a lot of money. Oh, God. What are you doing? No, no, no. I'll get rid of this one. Okay. For free. Sorry. All right. Now you earn income. How much is that? How much is your income? Five. And how much? Did I increase it? I don't remember. I thought you did. It's six. I right? thought yeah, I thought three, four, five, six income. Yeah, but you also have seven, eight, and then that was minus two. Minus two. So six. Minus one is five. five. Never yeah. mind. Just so. kidding. So you get one reputation. Okay, I like that. I like that you can backtrack. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's you can you can audit her. <laughs> All right. Um, pain in the butt. My turn. Yeah. All right. So, all right. What am I gonna want? I don't want to lose any more reputation. That says two dollars for every house. I, I kind of want to go with the convenience store there, just for that extra income. Um, all right, let's go with this one. It's eight dollars. Six dollars plus two is eight. So five, six, seven, eight. Convenience store can go here. Okay. Now, um, immediate effect is plus one income. Bottom effect, there's nothing down here. Next, adjust according to adjacent. This says plus one for each adjacent yellow, green, and blue. This is blue. I just put it here. So I'm going to get plus one reputation. I'm up to two. Next, anything else that would, you know, cause this to go crazy? No. Okay. Uh, does that affect you at all? No. Um, so I think we're good there. Um, I earn income 11. So I'll just do two fives and a one. And reputation, I get two. And I slide down. And it is your turn. Which is that new one? Uh, domestic airport. Plus one for every, plus one reputation for every airport. Minus one reputation for each adjacent green. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take $9. Five, four, nine. Okay, I'm gonna build a farm actually. Okay. 
I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. So let's see how that would play out. Mm -hmm. um, first, the top one is minus one reputation, so you're down to zero. The bottom one says plus one income for every silverware icon, including me. You've got one, I don't have any. Mm -hmm. So that gives you one mm -hmm. income. You're up to six. Next, surrounding tiles. Mm -hmm. Does this affect it? No. Does this affect it? Yes. You get plus one reputation for each adjacent yellow, mm -hmm. so you're back up to one again. No, or no, I don't think that affects any way else. Um, all right, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Six income. And one reputation. You're up to 26. Okay. And these slide down. Did I give you your money? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very easy to forget. Mm -hmm. Um. Goodness. I like that one. Can you make donuts? You can. Okay. Nope. Nope. Wow. Oh, man. It kind of stinks because there's some that I really need. Okay. Um, let's go with. You've got a lot of money, so you can afford almost anything next turn. Um, I've got that one. It's two dollars for every blue that I have. It's not bad. It's sixteen bucks. I think I might um, kind of like that museum. Um. So if I did, let's move this to the side. So for 18, I could buy this one. Um, crap. Well, maybe I'll do... What's this one? That's an airport. Oh. Alright. I need, I, need, I need to get some victory points. So I may spring for the museum, probably. What does the museum say? Uh, plus one for each adjacent gray. Mm. Um... So it's 18, so I'm going to spend 18 for that. And that'll go up here. Okay. Now, uh, first, the adjustment is plus one to reputation. Um, the bottom is plus one reputation for each adjacent gray, which is this one here. So that's another plus one. Mm -hmm. Um... Next is adjacent tiles to it. The parking lot says plus one income for each adjacent gray or blue. This is gray, so I go up by one here. This is just $2 for each of your mints, and this is $2 for each of your mints. So this would net me $4. Two for this and two for this. So I would get $4 there. Yeah, four. Um, is there anything else that would affect this or anything? No. Okay, so I need to adjust, I need to get income. I get 12. And reputation is 4. That brings me up to 13. Nice. Alright, and new tile? Which one's that one? Elementary school. 
plus one reputation immediately, one victory point for each of your green houses, your green zones. Plus one victory point for each. Yes, plus green. one. Yes, plus one population for each green house that you have. Is it? Oh, it doesn't have to be adjacent. Nope. That's crazy. Okay. Um. I'm going to take For the record, she has 26 population. I've got 13. So she's still winning. Nah. If the game were to end right now. In how, the, how does the game end? When the one more round comes up in the C stack. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do... I might just do this one. 11, 12... Actually, if I did that one, I could probably get this one. So I'm going to take this one, actually. Five, okay. 10, 15, 16 bucks. 16. What is that one? $2 for every business. Wow, that's good. Okay. Now this only takes effect immediately. It never takes effect. Not true. It is a permanent thing. So let's do one at a time. One dollar income. Okay. Uh, plus two for every blue. And that's permanent. So in the future, yeah. if you add another blue, it's going to get you more money. Sorry, I meant to put that in here. Okay. My bad. Okay. So um, let's take a look. Two dollars for every office, including that one. So you get four dollars. Two, four. So this gives you four dollars. One, two, three, four. Any surrounding tiles affect it? Uh, I don't see anything like that. Um, okay, that does not affect me at all. Two dollars for every business? Oh, oh, that, that includes me. Yeah. yeah, I have two businesses. So that's that, another four? Yeah, another four. Okay. Very good. Did you do the income already? Yeah, I did that. Okay. One, two. That's the first thing that you do. The top part is always the first thing. All okay. right. Okay. Um, now we do this income. Seven dollars. Yeah. And reputation of one. So you're up to 27. Okay. You're closing in on another notch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just letting you know. I know. Your, reputa your income's fine. All right, slides down. That is an office of bureaucracy, plus one income for each of your things, but minus two reputation. I don't like that at all. Um, the elementary school is kind of cool. The stadium is plus two for each adjacent green, but I don't have any green right now. Um, but I could get green at some point. Maybe I should go after that now. Okay, um, let's, let's do this. Um, I'm going to pay, how much do I have? Three, four, five, it's, I have 20 here. So I could buy that stadium at 18. So I'll just keep two. Buy the stadium, put that here. Um... 
Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna have to move these guides probably just off the thing. Um, okay, so let's take one at a time. Reputation, or no, stadium, plus one income, up to 13. Uh, plus two for each adjacent green, which I don't have. Um, looking at everything else though, uh, this says plus one for each adjacent uh, civic, which is this. So I should get another income or another reputation. Any other tiles that would affect this? This is two dollars for each of your civics, so I get four dollars back. Two for this and two for this. So I get one, two, three, four. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else at this point. So income wise, I get 13. Mm, nice. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, ink, uh, reputation, I get five. So 13 to 18. I'll go down one notch. Okay. And it is your turn. Mm. Which one's that one? Uh, it's five population. It's just a retirement village. Eight dollars plus ten is eighteen. Okay. All right. Um. This one is 11, one for each of your houses. I might actually bite the bullet and get this one. Yeah. So what's that one now? Uh, this costs six, 11. Okay, $11. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. And it gives me plus one reputation right away. All right, so yeah, put that down first and then we'll yeah. one at a time. Okay, so yeah, you get one reputation. Mm -hmm. Bottom is bottom is one population for each of your house of your green. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So you get uh, one, two, three. That brings you down a notch. Mm -hmm. um, next, any adjacent things affecting it, or anything else in your city that affects that? No. No. Okay. Anything here that would affect it? No. So that means that you now earn income and stuff. So you get six bucks mm -hmm. plus one reputation. So you're up to 31. And this slides down. Okay, casino. Crazy. Um, hmm. What am I gonna want? Plus two for each adjacent. Okay, so what if I did... This is nice and cheap. Two dollars for every house, and this is one. That's cheap. That's for sure cheap. Um, wow. That's for each adjacent house? For every house, period. Oh, wow. I don't want you having that either. <laughs> so I might get this just to prevent you from getting it. Um, Cause you're that you're building those green tiles a lot. And I don't know if I like that. Um you know what? Fine. I'll just pay six dollars. Take it. Um, where would I, I guess I'll put this here. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So, top is one victory, or one, one population. Two dollars for every green. Two, four. So I get four dollars. I'll skip change. Um, next is adjacent, plus two reputation for each adjacent green. So I get two reputation here. Um. Did you count my green? It says for... Oh, oh, I did not. For the money? Mm -hmm. I did not. So, two, four, six. Mm -hmm. I get six bucks. Thanks for catching. So, this is why I don't play it perfectly every time. Mm 
Um, Helped you to get more money. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, anything else that would affect that? No. Okay. So I think that's it. I earn income equal to 12. And reputation equal to 6. That brings me to 19 plus 6 is 25. I go down another notch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it is your turn. Almost out of details. This is the housing projects. The heck is that? Minus two reputation for each adjacent gray, green, or blue. But it's ten points immediately. It hates being near other things. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, jeez, you're gonna catch up so fast. No. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I have a question. When you put down a blue blueprint, does that mean that this takes effect? I get two yes, bucks? Yes, you do. Wow, it's nasty. Alright, um... I probably could have just moved all this down. What do you mean? Oh. No, nah, but that's all right. It's fine. I don't want to mess it up now. But I, in, in hindsight, I probably could have moved everything down a bit. But I'll get 12 bucks. For what now? So, okay, so $12? Okay. Mm hmm All right, and immediate effect is what? Three victory. Three. So you're up to 34. Mm -hmm. um, permanent effect, plus one for each adjacent green. Mm -hmm. So you get one reputation, because you've got that next to you. Um, is there anything else that would affect that? Anything else in your city that would affect that particular tile? Oh. Plus one, one population for each green. So um, you up to 33, or 35 rather, and you crossed another notch. I did? Where? Oh, fudge. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. Um, mine, $2 for every house, to every green. So oh, I piggybacked off you. I'm going to take two green. Well, that's not good. <laughs> You're just going to get more money. Um, anything else? That's it, I think. I need five dollars. All right, yep, yeah, for your income, five dollars. Mm -hmm. And reputation, you get one. So you're up to... 30... Oh, that's a misprint. That says 26. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so that's, that's a... <laughs> you might want to look at that, Bazir Games. That's a misprint on your board. It says 35, 26, 37. <laughs> like, I was wait. confused there for a minute. Are we going backwards? I think. Well, just take a black magic marker. Mm. Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so uh, now my turn. We're going to move these down. Last B tile. Cool. Uh, you've got four green. I've got two green. So I'm trying to work that out. Um, that's victory points there. Um, okay. Let's go with the retirement village. Put that here, and that would be 12. Nice. All right, so media effect is five points. One, two, three, four, five. I go down a notch. Um, no permanent. Next to it, plus two reputation for each adjacent green, mm -hmm. up to six. Um, other things, two dollars for every green. I just put that down. I get two dollars back. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that would affect or be affected by that. So I get ten income and six 
points, so I'm up to 36. I'm tied. I crossed a notch. Wow. I'm down to nine. That's crazy. See, the comeback king. Not necessarily. Comeback. I could be shooting myself in the foot by growing too quickly. All right, so uh, those move down. Mm -hmm. C stack. International Airport. I'm going to get this one. All right, so what is that? A green one? A suburbs. Okay. And what is that? All right, I guess we'll put it down then. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Two, four. Don't forget you have these investment markers. I never spend mine, but they're there. Mm -hmm. Which could be pretty decent for me if I can play it right. I don't know if that's a good thing though. You know what, screw it, I don't care. Yeah, I'll do that one. So that's $3, right? All right, so $3 to pay, yep. So $2 back. All right, an immediate effect is two point uh, two victory points yeah and, and any other thing that affects it one that, plus one marker yep yeah, plus one reputation and for each, another victory point okay another victory point there mm -hmm. i also get two dollars yep. from homeowner homeowners association mm -hmm. now i get five dollars from my income yes five dollars for income and two, two for, for okay so that brings you down another notch You're fine. <laughs> All right. Um, did you choose one to get rid of when you bought that tile? Oh, yeah, this one. So you have to pay two dollars to do that. I don't know. I will. I don't want you getting that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I don't want you getting that. So you may you discarded office of bureaucracy <laughs> plus one for each mm -hmm. of your gray, which I do have a lot of. <laughs> Minus two reputation. Though. That would hurt me from a reputation standpoint. Yeah. Um. All right, my turn? Mm -hmm. All right, there's the... All right. What the hell is this? <sighs> what? Pass each what? Notch? Plus, correct. So wow. every time you, the casino is plus one income after you pass each uh, notch. It gives you minus three reputation immediately, though. Jesus. So, but this casino basically ensures that you never run out of money. Almost. Man. It's rough though. You like that's a lot of reputation. <laughs> Which I mean, it's tempting. It's really tempting. All right. Um, I might go with the domestic. Airport, which is 11. Mm -hmm. So, airport will put that here. Okay, so the airport immediate is plus one income. It's plus one reputation for each airport. This is an airport. Is there any other airports? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so that's just plus one reputation. So that's two reputation total? One. I only have one airport. Oh, oh, oh. Minus one for each adjacent green, which is why I didn't put it over here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. Now, is there anything else that would affect this at all? Uh, no. Oh, plus one reputation for each adjacent yellow, green, or blue. So that's another reputation. Um, and I think that's it. Mm. So um, income-wise, I get 10. Reputation, I get seven. Um, 36 plus seven is 43. Wow. So I'm up, I, I passed a notch. So I'm down to nine and six again. And these move down. That's crazy, dude. And it is your turn. The recycling plant. Jesus, I guess I'll just do this one. No, you're gonna be a city of heavy factories. <laughs> That's three dollars, so two in return. Oops. What did you throw? I gave you a five. 
Okay. So in return. And I increased my income by one. Do you have anything? No. Okay. That's it. <laughs> um, oh, I have to discard. Yeah. Oh, wait, That's I six dollars. Mother flip. <laughs> mm. I hate you so much. I don't know. Oh, Story of my life. Mm -hmm. Alright, here you go. Just discard the casino. And you get it cheaper. <laughs> you look at you all smiles. Folks. Two dollars cheaper. <laughs> Big whoop. Uh -huh. Alright. Did you get uh, income and reputation? No. I so five dollars. And one. Oh my god. So I'm at 43 and you're at 42. So we're tied almost. So it's still anyone's game, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm going to spend 22 on this airport. <laughs> and put that here. And the top, no immediate effect. Bottom is plus one income and plus one reputation for every airport. I have two airports, so that would be two income and two reputation. Surrounding stuff, plus one reputation for domestic airport for every airport. So that's additional reputation here. Mm -hmm. um, no negatives anywhere that I can see. And anything, no, okay. So I think that's it in terms of affecting you and me and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. I get 11 in money and 9 in reputation, 43, uh, so it's 52, that would bring me one notch down. And the slide, and it is your turn. Boutique. I'm spending all my money for this one. Okay, what does that do? It gives me one income immediate and one victory point for each adjacent house. So Ooh. Three. Okay. So three points. So you're up to forty-five. Big deal. And I get two dollars. Two dollars for every yeah. green. Oh, oh for, for every, every office. Office. Okay. And now, is it repetitive? Do I count all of it if this triggers? No. Take. Just additional. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, that is a snapshot of this. I'm just saying. Six dollars and one victory point. Yes, so six dollars. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's a snapshot. Again. <laughs> All right, you're good. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. These move. Going a little bit faster now that we've got a groove going here. Yeah. <laughs> that is a chip fabrication plant. Plus one for each of you. Plus one income for each of your blue. Which, that doesn't really help me a whole lot. Um, I still kind of want to focus on money. Hmm. Oh, dear. Dear, 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 dear. It's 28. It's ridiculous. Skyscrapers, how often is that going to come up? Um, that's, that's kind of a lot to pass up on. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to put this, I'm going to, for $11, yeah, I'll put this here. So, bless you. You just really screwed, screwed me. I was so saving up for that. Were you? I'm <laughs> sorry. For like the last seven turns. <laughs> so, 13 immediately. Mm -hmm. Minus one income for every skyscraper built after this, but yeah. I don't see a whole lot. Yeah. Um. I need $2. Give me one second. Sorry. First adjacent stuff. That oh two dollars is adjacent there, so I get two dollars there. Um nope, nope, nope. Um any blues affecting this? No. Okay, so what was what was yours now? Two dollars oh. for every business. Okay. Two dollars. Mm -hmm. Um was there something else affecting blues? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I get 13 income, and I get 8 reputation, 8 plus 52 is 60, I pass 2 notches, 
11 and 6. Okay. It is your turn. New car dealership. Minus 2 income for all other cars built after this one, but plus 5 income. Okay. Um... Oh, duh. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna have to build one of these. Okay. Again, you can, all my you can, factories are gone. You can do lakes if you want to. To help you earn money. I could, huh? It's up to you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Yeah. I'll do this one. Okay. Alright. So that's two victory thingies. Right, so three dollars first off. Did oh, you yeah, pay I'm for sorry. your... I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so now the immediate effect is what? Two victory points. All right, so that brings you down another notch. A notch. And income. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One victory point because it's adjacent to this thing. All right, so you're up to 49. And one more victory point. You're up to 50. And, and I get two dollars because of homeowners association. <sighs> that thing is awesome. It's just cha-ching. I know. <laughs> Look at all that money. Oh God! <laughs> it's bad building high first. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't Not necessarily. Have. I went high with the mint. That worked out for me. Yeah, but the mint has income. You have all income. I have like all star cards, and that was just so bad. No. So bad. All right. So does. Is there any other effect that we don't see here? I don't think so. All right, so uh, pick one to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, I can't get rid of any of them. I can't afford them. You can get rid of one of the first two. Again, you're only paying oh, the top. Oh, zero, okay. You also have those two X tiles. By paying for a, th uh, a tile again, um, you can oh, earn... the ancestors. I forgot about that, dude. If you have an income tile that's working well for you, I like wish. maybe that one, well... Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get rid of... This one? All right. Wait. No, get rid of this one. That's $2. $2. Yeah. Yeah, because that's nasty for you. A recycle. Oh yeah, plus two for each adjacent. Plus two reputation for each adjacent <laughs> yellow. That would have been awesome. I'm just saying. Yeah, I had to get rid of that. So when do you use the two X? On your turn, instead of buying a tile here. Damn, I should have done that instead. Of oh. Well, it's. I don't know. You have to pay for the tile again. You have to afford it. So um. if you put a two, <laughs> if you put a two X on this one, you have to pay three dollars. If you put a two X on this, it's twelve. What is the effect? It's only the bottom effect. The bottom effect. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's actually both. Let me let me just double check that. I think it's the top and bottom, as if you had played it uh, for the first time. Mm -hmm. But um, let me just make sure. Um, placing an investment marker does not trigger other tiles' conditional effects. Um, pay the cost. Uh, doubles the effect of a top left. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at that further if we do it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So, did you... Okay, so you did that in my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, plus one for each adjacent green. I could put that down there. That would, that would help you out, though. You've got a lot of green. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Sort of, no grays. That sucks. Because you took them all. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
All right, I'm gonna go with the chip fabrication plan, I think. That's uh, 22. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I think it'll work for me. Six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 22. All right, so that's gonna go there. And, okay, immediate effect is plus two reputation. Mm -hmm. Then plus one income for each of your blue offices. One, two, three. So I get three income, mm -hmm. up to 14. Anything adjacent that would affect it? No. Anything else in my city that would affect it? No. Anything that would affect it from on your end? I don't think so. So I get $14 income and reputation of eight puts me to 68. Wow. That crosses another notch. So I'm down to 13 and seven. That's crazy. All right, my turn. Uh, it is your turn, yes. All right, I do want to use an investor thing. Okay. Now, if I use it on this. Okay, so. Does it affect the top or only the bottom? Um, let's, uh, alright, let me read, because I, I know the least about investment markers, because I never use them. Okay. Um, let's see. Pay the cost of the chosen tile again. Oh, I can't even do that. Though. Right. Damn it. But, okay, so how much would it be, though? Well, if you're going to put it on that, it would be $9. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, what effect does it... Um... An investment marker doubles the effect of a tile it is placed on. For instance, an investment marker placed on Community Park results in minus one income and plus one reputation for each adjacent industrial, commercial, and residential tile. Um, it does not trigger other tiles' conditional effects. Placing an investment marker on a Community Park that is adjacent to a heavy does not trigger the minus one reputation for every factory again. I see. Um, so I think it only adjusts, the, it only affects the bottom part of it. Really? On yeah. The bottom? Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh no, it affects, yeah, it affects the top and bottom. Really? Yeah, it says if I put on the community park, minus one income and plus one for, yeah, so it would, you would basically pay for the tile again and observe the top and the bottom again. Okay. But ignore surrounding tiles effects that might. Yeah. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Well. <laughs> well. Well. I'm sorry. Trying to fix the table there. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'll just do that one then. For nine? Yeah. But you don't have nine dollars. Oh, mother fudge. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just do... Or you can just focus on income? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to see. I don't even have any income cards. Oh, oh no, $16. I have sixteen dollars. <laughs> I can't do anything. Um, how about um a lake? Get a lake. I don't want a lake. You may have to take a lake. I don't want a lake. I refuse. You can All put right. it here and get eight dollars, or here and get eight dollars. What if I do this one for three dollars? That's one income, and that's it. Um, that would give you. You'd pay three dollars. Yeah. To get one income. That would give you plus one income and then minus one for each adjacent. Which I don't have. Right. Which is good. So yeah, you would get plus one income on that, basically. And then you would choose a tile over here to get rid of. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to have to. Alright, so you get, uh, choose a tile to get rid of. You get one income. so much you can like just afford everything not true <laughs> as you say that with like a non-straight face i have to choose a tile to get rid of yes like as if you had bought one of these when you place an investment marker you also get rid of one of these okay, three dollars first i'm paying three dollars for that right you did your income and all that other stuff yeah okay um oh i have to get rid of one of these Yeah. 
Wait a second. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. That was, okay, 10 points housing projects. International Airport. Do I get six dollars? You do. You get your six dollars and how many points? I'm stagnant on points right uh, now. Okay. <laughs> stagnant. I am actually going to buy another International Airport, I think. Like, well, 28. Can I afford it? I love it? this game. 20. I can't afford it. All right. 20, 25, 27. I have to buy something else. Uh, maybe I'll go with the middle school. Part of me is thinking I should. All right, let's go with the middle school. That's 18. Okay. Middle school will go here. Okay. And. Immediate income is, or immediate bonus, plus one reputation, plus uh, two population for each green. One, two, three. Each of my green. So one, two, three. So I get six points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are two notches. Um, any other effect? Plus one reputation for each adjacent gray. So I get one reputation. Um, this mint is $2 for each gray, and this mint is $2 for each gray. So I get $4. I'll just take five, one. Okay. Anything else with grays and stuff? Anything that would affect you? No. Okay. So I think I'm good. Uh, $11 for me. And seven points, that's um, 74 plus seven is 81. I cross the notch again, I'm down to 10. Um, and I think it is your turn. I guess I will use another one of these. Okay. And do this one again. You can't, do, I don't think you can do that again. Oh really? Yeah, you can't. That's fine, I'll do a different one. Okay. <laughs> like so many of them. Yeah. You're gonna take another income? Yeah, I'll pay three dollars and I'll just get four four change back then. And that's it. Wait, what are you doing now? You... I'm paying three dollars to get to increase this by one, right? Are you gonna give me five or what are you doing? I was giving you th um three for three. this. Three? Yeah. Okay. So I get Right. So you... Oh and I get seven. Right. Now you get seven. Okay, yeah. sorry. I was like de de deducting it. You're skipping ahead. Sorry. And then reputation-wise, zero. Yeah, that's your turn. Oh wait, I have to discard. You have Yay. to discard. Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> wow. Fun stuff. Here it is. <laughs> okay. High school. Um, at this point, I mean, I don't know if I can afford a whole lot. So I need to go easy on the, the purchase this time. Uh, what is this? Condominium. That's 14 plus three for each adjacent blue. I could put it over there and get something for it. Um, if I really want to do that. I kind of want to go back to earning income again. Boutique, that'll earn me an income. This car dealership, it, oh, look at that, plus five income. That's actually really good. All right, um, I want to, for 14, I want to buy that. Um, so. You're really going for that most billionaire. <laughs> I need money. All right, so the blue is going to go. You need money. <laughs> there. And, okay, so immediate effect is plus five income. Mm -hmm. Um, minus two for all other car dealerships built after this one, which there are none yet. Um, adjacent, adjacent, we're good. Um, I don't, you get something because it's an office? Yep, two dollars. Two dollars. So, you get your two dollars. 
Do you have any restaurants? Uh, no. <laughs> um, and then income wise, I get 15. Uh, six points is 81, it's 87. I cross two notches. 13, four. I'm starting to slow down there on the, on the reputation. Mm -hmm. The tiles. Um, I will do... University. Plus one reputation for every school. Well, I've got a middle school, but about it. No, it's not you, it's the, the light above me. No matter how I do it, there's a uh, glare or something. The pains of a photographer. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll use my last one of this. Investment marker? Mm-hmm. I'll put it here. Um, so you put it there. Um, that's what, nine dollars? Yeah, and then I put this up here, right? All right, so did you pay your nine? That's a mm -hmm. lot. And I only get one profit, but at least I got the income. All right, so uh, you got your income. Minus one for your no, okay. Um, no adjacent effects, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So now you earn income, right? Mm -hmm. So now you've got 10 bucks. Yeah, so it's just a one profit. Still, but that'll carry over to future rounds and then no reputation. Magnet. <laughs> 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 you stalled, it's all right. Uh, you get to choose one to get rid of. Um. Is that one at the end? $10. You have $10? Oh. Uh, it's a university. Plus one reputation for every school and then plus two income. It's 25 bucks though. 15 plus 10. I would need it to go down here. Yeah. Uh, to save your money, you're, you're going to want to do that. Give it in this one. Okay. One more round. After this round is over, the start player and each player after the start player is one more turn in which the game is over. Okay, so that goes up here somewhere and a new one comes out. Okay, so one more round. Um, I'm the start player though, so after your turn, it's done. After, so I take my turn, then you take a turn, then I take a turn again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get one more turn, and I get—I basically take my turn, you take yeah. your turn, I get my turn, and game's over. Okay. Um, okay. So looking at this, um, I need to start earning as many points as possible. But I also want to make sure I've got a lot of money, too. Um, now, is that based on income or money? That one tile there. No, I would say most circle probably. Yes, okay. So where is the most money? I need to make sure that I'm not spending too much. Um, all right, let's go with... That's 20 bucks there, but that would be all my money. I really don't want to spend all that. 
That's 12 for 5 points for $2 for each adjacent blue. I could use a 2x tile and just start doubling down on stuff I already have just to earn more money or to... If I were to do that, what would I put this on? This would give me, for $16, four extra reputation. That would help me climb the ranks more. Um, plus, I could put one up here for $8. And, okay, so the museum, plus one reputation. Okay, so I'm going to pay $8 again. Do that. Mm -hmm. And I get plus one reputation. Then bottom plus one reputation for each adjacent gray. So that would be, you know, one, two, three is three. And that's it for that. I get 13 bucks and come. Nice. And population. Okay, so we're, I've got eight here. So eight plus 87 is what 95 I cross three notches so I'm down to 10 and 5 all right and I get to choose one to get rid of I'll get rid of that one okay all you Um, <laughs> um uh, uh, let's see. Buy a lake. <laughs> Get a lake. No, never. <laughs> okay. Just to try it. I'll spend twelve bucks. No, fourteen dollars. So I get one dollar in return. Okay. There's funny bags over here. And what do you want? I'm getting this one. What is that? Two dollars for every yellow industrial place. Wow, okay. Um, put it here. No, no, wait. I don't put it there. I put it. Where the hell am I going to put this? Okay, whatever. Okay, so immediate effect is what? Plus one reputation. Yeah. Bonus is two dollars for every yellow. Yeah, it's twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So two times eleven is twenty. Very good. Big deal. I got eight dollars off of that. <laughs> that was a good purchase. Sure. You're gonna surpass me now. No. Um, and I get. Oh yeah, you did the reputation. I did the reputation. Yeah. Um, income wise. Um, ten dollars. Ten dollars. And one reputation. <laughs> and one reputation goes you fifty-one. There you go. Last turn of the game. Yeah. I need to make sure that I've got more than you somehow. Um, let's see, five. I'm gonna make change here. Five. I think you won. <laughs> okay, Maybe, I but I want to make sure I got the goals too. Like the goals can easily win the game. I'm just saying. You got you got at least one for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so how could I earn more money without spending a whole lot of money? Okay, I could just get a lake, <laughs> be done with it. Mm -hmm. Or I can double down on this lake just to ensure that I, I don't know how much money you have. I could double down on that lake. Wow. And it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, 12. Mm -hmm. So I would be getting 12 bucks from that. Wow. And on top of that, the 10. For the income? Mm hmm Yeah. Wow. Plus a 5. Oh, yeah, you won. A 100. Mm -hmm. I crossed one notch. 9 and 4. And I choose a tile to get rid of. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so goals at the end of the game. Um, what was your goal? Fewest legs. <laughs> fewest, ah, 
fewest legs. Damn it. I'm so mad. I wanted to build a lake all game and you you're only like, build one. You're like, no, no, I won't build a lake. No, I don't want a lake. I don't want it. I thought you didn't want it because of the adjacency bonuses. Like this was giving you bonuses for adjacent No, things. I would have built a lake like the first five turns <laughs> if I could. You chose that out of the two. I did. The other one stunk. You got 20 points for that. So you're up to 71. Yeah. Mine was most civic gray, yeah. which is why I went for gray. Damn. I got 15 for that, so I'm at 115. Wow. These goals, uh, who has the fewest green? Not I have one, me. two, three. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got them all. All right, so 30 then. Yeah. So 145. Jeez. All right, so I got 145 plus <laughs> the money that we turn in. Five, one point for every five. So this is two, four, six. Okay, babe, enough rubbing it. Eight. You won. <laughs> oh, wow. Two, four, six, eight, eighty-five, uh, nine, ten. I want to know how much I, I want to see what my high score was. One fifty-five. Sixty-four billion. Okay, I got one fifty-five. Uh -huh. That's not bad. Mm, not too bad. Out of one sixty. Uh, what was your money? I don't know. Thirty-three. Big deal. You got, you know, you got uh, it's, uh, six six points, so you're up to seventy seven. Okay. Aside from the fact that you had a trouble with the engine building, did you enjoy this game or not? I did. I would play this again. You would. And I would never pick this stupid, stupid fewest lakes crap ever again. That was bad. That was crazy. That stunk because I had another goal card that was equally the same amount of points but uh -huh. with higher income, and I actually ended on higher income, which really stuck. Because I could have done the same thing, but probably built lakes early on. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad. I wanted to build lakes. <laughs> so, was it as confusing as I was making it out to be? Like, in terms of... No, because I thought that all of them would be continuous. I thought, like, you the, would... The effects would continuously activate every yeah, single time? all no. the time. No. Okay. It's just, again, it's a snapshot. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, alright. But even still, I have trouble with that. Mm -hmm. Mainly because I, I'm a kind of, kind of gamer that doesn't look at other players' boards because I have enough trouble with my own. Mm -hmm. So when I'm playing against the computer and I'm making moves, mm -hmm. um, it's like, well, why am I earning two income for this when I should be earning one? According, to, But then yeah. I look at his board, oh. So it's like I forget to look at other players' boards when I'm doing my calculations. I don't forget to look at other people's boards. Because you're that competitive. No, no, because you taught me the very first board game that we played, I think, was Splendor. And I looked at, like, at your board and in the AI, I looked at their boards, and I'm like, oh, okay, so this is kind of important in board games. So now I actually take the time to do that. Mm -hmm. it's well, it's, it's smart. It's competitive. Mm -hmm. So um, so what did you think of the art style, the color? the was Were things easy to read, the iconography? I don't like tile laying games, but I got to say, even though I got destroyed in this, I really want to play this again. I think yeah. this is probably up there to being almost one of my favorites, really? which is really weird because I don't like... You don't like Carcassonne. I don't like tile games. I don't like money handling games. And this is a very heavy money handling game. Um, but it was so much fun. I really liked this. I want to play the expansion so bad. Well, um, <laughs> in a future video, we're going to get into the expansion probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll play it on camera, but I at least want to show off to the people at home what you get in the expansion. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll do that together in a video coming up. Yeah. You know? I, I know I got destroyed, but I feel like... You're, you fizzled out. Like, you were doing great in the beginning, <laughs> but you fizzled out toward the middle. I think, I think your engine... Wasn't yeah. built to where you were earning enough income for middle to late game. A lot of games that we play like that, I usually start off really hard hitting and I actually end up pulling it off. And you would be like, man, the game isn't long enough, you know, for for the inch to start building. In this one, the game went on too long for me because I wanted it to be over quick. The, the, what gotcha won. is those notches. Yeah, the notches. That are is, that's the killer. Like, the further you go up that track... Mm -hmm the more the notches are there. Like, yeah, um, for I the agree. folks at home, I didn't really show this to you, but um, here's a look at, say, here's the bottom of the board. There's one, two, like the notches are like every, what, eight, nine? Yeah. And then you get up to the top, and it's like every two or every three, there's a red notch. So the further that you go up this track, 
the harder it is to maintain your city here. Mm -hmm. You have to continuously get income. There is a tile in the box that I guess it didn't come up here. Um, it's like the casino, but with reputation. Mm -hmm. So like you earn a reputation every time you pass a notch so that you never lose reputation. Wow. So you could really climb without, with that one, I think it's called like the PR firm or something. I think if I, if, if you ever had that, that tile or the casino tile, I would have flipped the table over <laughs> and called it quits. Because <laughs> how are you going to win with that? Uh, well, <laughs> you'd be surprised. It's crazy. I, I like this game a lot though. I love it. I think it's, it's definitely one of my top fives. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Any problems with it that you can think of? Uh, Aside from the tracking, that was the hardest part. Like again, yeah. My my biggest that. complaint with the game is there's no. I, I wish there was some kind of digital tool that allows players to keep track of all of that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I like I play the mobile app and I like it because it does all the calculations for me. We've said time and time again that this game needs to be digital. This game needs to be digital. Well. This game needs to be digital, not just on mobile, but I like on PC and Steam. I want to see, I want to see this digital because um, with the computer doing all the work for me, I could spend less time worrying about the logistics yeah. and more time worrying about uh, getting my chains to tile appropriately and how to strategize. Half, 75 percent of this game for me is remembering the calculations part. I don't get to spend a whole lot of time mm -hmm. on engine building because I'm too worried about trying to figure the math out. What I think that they should have done was um, any any tile that had like, that included another person's board, they should have made the art a little bit different, maybe. Um, I don't know, like these white lines, I don't think the, these white lines are a necessity, maybe only add them if they affected the other person's board. That's a thought. You know. I see what you're saying. Or maybe a notch, like, I don't know, some sort of color code. You know, this tile affects everything else on every other player's board. So maybe a little notch somewhere to signify that. Yeah, like a red exclamation point somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a thought. Mm -hmm. I think in the premium Kickstarter edition that they, they held, there were special tiles or special meeples or something that helped you keep track of all of that. This kind of reminds me of that Reef game a little bit. Reef. Is it Reefer? Reef? Reefer? I mean, Reef. I don't know. It's Reefer. Reef. Yes, Reefer. But it's like... It's One's an underwater... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Reefer. I'm sorry. It, just, it, it kind of reminds me of that with the tiles. Put that on the box. It reminds me of the game Reefer. <laughs> Anyone doing Reefer cannot play this game for the record. The math would not be right. Anyone diving underwater. Okay, so, yes. like, I don't know. It reminds me of Reef because... <laughs> it reminds you of Reefer because... <laughs> because they have, like, the whole tile thing, and I think, like, it affects, like, other people's... I, I don't know maybe? if you're thinking about Reef. I don't know if Reef is the right game you're thinking of. Which one am I... Oh, the volcano one? It was, like, a volcano underwater thing. I thought it was called Reef. Maybe not. Oh gosh, I'm gonna, this is going to bug me now. Well, dark, I dark deaths. I don't know. It's... Yeah, Underwater. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Okay, you know what? No. <laughs> Alright folks, so while she goes to look for that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, again, this was Suburbia 2nd Edition. Uh, be on the lookout possibly for another video that outlines some Deep of the expanse. What? Deep vents. Deep vents? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Is that a Red Raven game? I don't know. Is it? Pretty sure it's Red Raven. Sorry, guys. Anyway, again, the expansions look something like this. Yeah, Red Raven. Yeah, it has tiles. I was correct. Look at that, tile stuff. And, yeah. And they actually tell you in red coatings and stuff. You know, if it affects another player. Okay, sorry. All right. Uh huh. Do your outro. Suburbia expansions. Again, just a quick look at that. Um, one to five players. It comes with a fifth player component section, so five players can play as opposed to just four. Um, and again, it has a lot of other stuff. So um, be on the lookout for possibly a video outlining all of this. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye, guys.